All right, let's go. Day two. Oh, we got a full team. Lucia Vesson, the, the new new girl. And most likely I would just go with a, a full follower team. Maybe not full follower team, but mostly follower team. If I can uh, get away with it. All right. Uh, we cannot interact with the dogs, can we? Okay. Uh, we need Animal Whisperer free. And getting three or four skill levels is, is not an overkill. Uh, most certainly not. Nightclub Guard. Little Vegas. Can we get him? Place is closed. Rigo wants us to stand in the cold and make sure you know it. Okay. It's a little peculiar. This they they don't really care about customers. The Arapaho garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. All right. A hell of an asset if we can persuade him to join the Rangers. We're definitely though. The doc is. Prickly at the best of times, and these are not the best of times. Never mind that. We're just gonna. Well, I guess we gotta brainstorm it. If he's so hard to recruit, how are we gonna do it? Marshal Lupinski. Hey, you wanna be part of the Rangers? Unshaven and slovenly, Marshal Lupinski shifts. His unlit, half-smoked cigar to the corner of his mouth as you approach. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. We are rangers. So much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorsey some hell. Oh, that's great. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. Shut the hell up! My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. What? What? Well, your, your companions? What was that hesitation? Come on. Also, you cannot really expect people to be someone else around you. What's behind this gate? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farm. And now those fuck those Dorseys. Any idea how many Dorseys are in there? Nope. An estimate? Like billions? No room for amateurs in this town. Alright. No room. Wow, that's Jesus, and fishes, Christ. What? What? Oh shit, Taiwan. Yeah, it is. We best stay back. Oh, we got a bomb. Can be. Oh, that's nice. God damn it! Where are the marshals? The Rangers. Uh, who's gonna be paying me? Oh. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. But why? Can you sell us some gear? Oh, so if I get the mine, that I can get your stock. We defuse the mine. Really? That's great news. Here's a little something for you. Thank you. I'm back in business. Okay. Well, that's good for you. How, but how about you help Welcome us? To the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium. We have everything. You didn't hear this from me, Franz. But word is, there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? Yeah, you're just standing like, I don't know, like 20 meters away from the... The... the I'm not sure how that place is called. The Garden of the Gods. That they completely overrun. What's with the ocean puns? No idea what you're talking about, Franz. All right. Fuck. Can can we see your verse? 
Can, can we see your waves? <laughs> nice. So we're gonna uh, just do ocean puns here. Oh fuck. That's her gear. Uh, wait. How expensive is this? 166? And the barter bonus is 2%. That's not good. Uh, what about guns? So, I would get nothing if, if I sell things. Wow, we can't even, even afford it. But this is actually a good uh, way to see what kind of weapons we want to have. So this has 4 AP and deals 11 damage on average. So 33 damage uh, for 4 AP, which is like 8. 8 point, uh, well, 8 point something, 8.25. I'm not gonna get that specific. Okay. Interesting. 45 damage for 4 AP. That, that's already better, but I suppose this is more limited. The penetration is maybe lower on the SMG. Yeah, definitely lower. Which is a concern. Uh, we got like 25 damage here for free AP. But maybe it's uh, AoE. Uh, this looks pretty fucking badass. Uh, it does have a 6 AP cost to it. And a special ammo requirement. But it does look very fucking sick. So this is like 70 damage. I think yes, like uh, these guns uh, also uh, cost more in in a way that, like this this costs like six times uh, nine millimeter ammo, and this is nine times uh, uh, seven sixty two. Flamethrower, rocket launcher is like a one time use. Fireman bladed weapon. Can we just get a much better bladed weapon? Because this is average thirty damage, so this is like ten damage per AP. But also has a high crit chance. So this would be, for example, good on Villian. Oh, this is even better? Well, better is subjective, but actually it would be worse, because Villian would be only b able to attack once with it. Brawling weapon. Yeah, that looks a little bad. 27-ish. Uh, so I suppose the penetration is the big sell here. A pulse gun. I guess the... Energy cells are just uh, more expensive. Oh, this looks good. So basically this is 100 damage for 4 AP. But the penetration is not the best. Again, we got like 51 damage here per per 3 AP. Uh, the sub machine gun seems like the best uh, choice when it comes to damage. But that's actually still in the category of uh, assault rifles. I do like sniper rifles. Okay, this looks... This is the best so far. Unless you can double attack with the submachine gun, then in, in that case, uh, yes. The submachine gun is just straight up better. Okay, so I have a, some idea of what's going on here. I don't think armor is something we really need right now. Ammunition is the most important uh, thing. So, the 9 mil and the 762 cost the same that's that's a pretty important uh thing to remember so this actually costs 45 uh to use uh 556 already costs double of the yeah 762 and 9 mil i suppose considered cheap 45 so yeah so this would use 45, so every shot would be like 10 dollars. Okay, shooting away money. That's basically what we're doing. And this uh, 38 ammo. 9 mil. Uh, yeah, 55. 556, I mean. 30 cal. Shotgun shells. So this would be 9. <laughs> I, 
this nine money to shoot. This is uh, I guess per damage would be more relevant. At this point, I'm not super concerned, but it is something to consider for sure. Now this is the fifty cal. Uh, are the no no okay fine shotgun shells spikes. The sniper seems pretty cheap considering how much damage it deals. So you get like over ten damage. Uh, per dollar here. It does does seem like it's mostly fine. Yeah, energy cells are expensive, so I suppose that's the big takeaway here that energy cells should be used sparingly, and everything else can be just used uh, uh, rather uh, freely. All right, can we sell junk? I did it. Wait, okay, we have 500 money. Really? That's not bad. Should I get a fireman here? Oh, it's mission items. Okay, we sell, sold the junk. I'm not sure if it has like a double purpose. The fireman looks good. Okay. Oh, sure, equipment. Yeah, that's the one. What if I sold this? What if I just pulled the fireman over here? Oh, nice. This is pretty uh, <laughs> straightforward. We're also using a, a slack sniper. Uh, we can upgrade that, I think. Although there is no search here. Requires four in sniper rifles. So I guess not. Damn, I didn't realize that. Oh, this requires five in auto weapons. Oh, okay. So, yeah. He would be able to use the, the submachine gun, but I'm not sure if you have the bullets for it. Wait a second. Uh, what happened to the menu? Oh, show inventory. So, ammunition-wise, we got spikes. We got... Uh, 556, 45, mostly I have a 762, and 38, how much is the 38, what the fuck, 5 per shot, that's pretty expensive, alright, show equipment, yeah, but I do have bullets for the shotgun, don't I, yeah, 23 bullets. It does seem sensible to uh, look for an upgrade here. Okay, that's a decent brawling weapon. Uh, that's, wow, that's really good. But actually requires 5 melee combat. Heavy machine gun. Who's the ma uh, machine gun guy? Would this be like a massive upgrade? So this shoots 9 uh, 762mm ammo. And this shoots 50 cal! Oh my god. Of course. That is not good. What's the 50 cal here? Ammunition. Uh, that's the 50 cal. Oh my god. Nine dollars per ammo? Oh my god. That's not good. I, I don't wanna go broke here. Just trying to fight the enemies. SWAT rifle. This is 5 in auto weapons and uses a uh, 556. So this is just straight up uh, an upgrade. Oh, this is also expensive. Alright. It's a little annoying that there's just no search here. I think just buying bullets might be the best, best bang for the buck. <laughs> also, we might just find weapons. Pulse gun. This seems pretty uh, good, but we, we can't really use it. So, alright, let's just go back. And, uh, I don't know what to focus now. Ooh, other merchants. A frag mine? You're just gonna leave it there? Okay, I mean, your call. Uh, Mary Milk Thief. Uh, 
to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mart. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. I can clean you up, sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey raid. I can help with that too. What do you need? What? That's straight. What do you have for sale? Remedies for regret, children. Okay, Kevin, so here you go, children. So Salvation like the is at hand. Yeah, the doctor kinda in town. Mad hypo. I'm not sure what we're gonna need. Did you see the Dorsey's almost blow up the statue? Yeah, I was hiding under the bookseller's stall. Marshall stopped at the last second. Wouldn't be Market Square without it. Snapping Jimmy Bob. Okay, let's just uh, stay on the square for now. Come on. Yeah, we can't talk to those. New faces? Let me know if you need to restock. I hear let's. So he's like a junk dealer? Oh. The fuck are you selling? Oh, the mods slash junk dealer. Also sells bullets at the same price as the as the regular merchant. Why would I do that instead of... Oh, machine turret. Oh, self-destructs after combat has ended? What the fuck is this design? Yeah, we came this way. And uh, before we go to the Garden of the Gods, we may want to check the entire uh, market square and uh, the entire town. Theodore Curie. Baris. Ah, hello there. The name's Theodoric Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics. But I always have time to answer some questions, if you're here to learn about our wall. No, I, I want to acquire your services. Who are you? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine, nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. You're really trying to establish some backstory here. Are you a companion? <laughs> or at least uh, a guy who joins me at my base? Tell me about the wall. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done. But sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. The thing, the problem with the ball is that, you know, I mean, imagine the resources that it takes to build a fucking wall of that thickness and like technology. And then we have like some shacks in town. It's like, what the fuck? If we had oil to power the generators, You'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. We have to go. I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. The okay, then. Who the hell is this? Jesse Carter? You wanna join me? Oh, you wanna talk to Mama? She's the one in charge. Okay. What's up, Mama? 
uh, grizzled and gnarled as an old oak tree. The round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf, eyes invisible in a face that is more wrinkles than skin. You got business with Mama Carter? I haven't decided yet. Yes? Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. How welcoming. <sighs> Toolbox. Grease monkey. Need help? Oh, talk to Jimmy Longhall. What the fuck? Can you guys talk for yourselves? Okay, we can go that way. For what purpose, though? Colorado. Oh. Don't get cute. Just you wait. <laughs> this Sorry. place is going anyway, to shine. I didn't know they existed until my pa yeah, told me to go down to this old man's fast. farm. He said he had a few cars we could take. Wow. We didn't that looks was not good. In his garden. What? Like Jimmy. Apparently you're the man. Also the uh, the hospital. I like I wouldn't I wouldn't really call it a hospital. You know, just a bunch of Dying people lying in a garage uh, is just next to the garage, and there's just 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 nothing here. There's not even a fucking wall to separate them. Even in his old age, this man is impressive, broad, uh, shouldered, and uh, thick neck. He wears his hair in thick uh, white braids. Hey, Jimmy, glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far. Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. What's this place? This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But... We fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Looks like you also repair people. <laughs> what a line. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic and we had the space, so good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Is he good? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Well, that's great. Can you tell us about your employees? Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Sure. Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer's our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. So, you're all Arapaho here? At the moment? Yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Do you hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. Seems like you think that the Arapahos are better than the other people. Is that the case? What can you tell us about the Arapaho? I don't care. What do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Oh really? Uh, the, the fuck is this? Make sure you take 
Okay, so I guess we can repair the truck. Upgrade the horn? The fuck? Why? The big beast of a cannon that fires high explosive shells? Yeah, but... I guess we don't see the equipment of the truck. I, what kind of weapon we have on the truck? And we can repair the truck. Oh, Alright. Well, nice talking to you, Jimmy. What? That 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 guy is not having a good time, I can tell. No a linebacker in a lab coat. This doctor is clearly weary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody head of an unconscious young woman. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Yeah, but you're still talking to us. Understood, brother. Can we do anything to help? Okay. Just just not toward the patients. Alright. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. I see a like a tomato fountain behind your back. Oh, I they don't have enough barter. You can count on us. What can we do? Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. We're on it. We'll talk more when you come back. Do I have it? What now? Okay, goodbye. Good luck. Okay, let's see what we have. So we need... So he runs out and suture kit, injury kit, and medic pack. What? I'm pretty sure I have a suture kit. And uh, a medic pack. Luckily, I, stopped him before he got us all killed. I have an injury kit, but I don't have a suture kit. Alright, maybe we should buy that. We know where we can buy it. Okay, they're not having the best time. Can I talk to these people? Can't wait until we upgrade Apparently this. not. I'm thinking of joining the next supply run. Oh crap, containers? Wait, what? Let's round up Did I just find what I need? That's a suture kit. Alright, that, that's lucky. I was kind of planning on going to the doctor. I got the stuff you want. Don't give me attitude. We got the stuff you want. Finally. Get started on those patients. Finally? What the fuck? I got it in under a minute. Got it. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. Oh. This is where I need to prove that I know what I'm doing. This man is uh, sitting uh, clenched teeth in a puddle of his own blood. A hand uh, pressed on his, to his belly. Intestines bulge from between the slats of his fingers. He won't last much longer without help. If you use one of your suture kits on him, you may be able to save his life. It isn't Who has the suture kit? Bad, is who's, the, who's the medic here? Alright. Right. Skills. Uh, du -du 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 -du. We're looking for first aid. Doc nails. Well, them. Okay, that makes sense. So Doc nails has free first aid, and we need a suture kit here, and he does not have it equipped at least. Wow. So this removes bleeding. Um He's good now. Thanks. What, a blood what about you? you? This woman is almost unconscious. Her body is a nightmare of bruises and welts, but at least she's breathing. The damage is severe, but treatable with basic tools. You could use one of your math packs to save her life. They wouldn't stop. Why 
you wouldn't. They stop. It hurts. Please. Now let me guess. The last one What's needs something on? else. Do you need an injury kit? <gasps> yes! Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping. Oh, look at that, Doc. I did your job. Now. What now? We have done everything you, we can do for the patients. They should all pull through. Good. Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you. And I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. Is that so? You see this girl. She was shot in the head. But there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her. And I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. <sighs> Sounds like a goner to me. I mean... In in some cases, I suppose, getting shot in the head can be, I suppose, um, like, it's basically a death sentence. <laughs> I mean, people just usually die from that. I'm not really a doctor, but there are stories that people who survive it. But damn. So it's probably gonna have brain damage. Okay. So, what do you have in mind? If you let me use the facilities at your HQ... Oh, yes! I'll, I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Why are you so invested in uh, this woman's life? I mean, not like I'm ambivalent and don't care, but still. You seem to be going way and beyond the call of duty. Welcome aboard, Dr. Parker. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Have I? I mean, okay, seems like you're just putting that on yourself. I, all, all I did is that you just come to my abandoned warehouse. Uh, Need anything before I get my stuff together? No. Not now. Medical attention? Is that free? Of course. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. Good luck. So we got healed for free. Oh, also I leveled up with Lee Singh. I wanna be point uh just putting points into awareness. Oh we got a perk. Okay, oh, uh, it's like uh, accept that. Uh the fuck are we gonna do here? Uh, starting at level 4, your rangers will earn a perk point every four, every other level. Perk points are used to unlock powerful abilities and passive bonuses. Perks become available to learn as you upgrade your skills. Okay. So now that we have Lucia Vasson, who also has weapon modding and small arms, and actually she has barter and survival. So, she will be covering those skills, and the good news is that she doesn't overlap with Marshall Kwan, but she does overlap with uh, Lee Sing. So, weapon modding is like, ah, uh, I suppose it would be nice if, uh, as a team, you can, well, I guess it makes sense to be uh, specialists, not like, oh, yeah, let's, everyone put a point in it, and like, now we're good. That would be a little dumb, but still. So we can't put points into kick ass, uh, kiss ass. I can go with sniper rifles. Also, I really like the idea of going for lockpicking. I don't know what to go for. Actually, I just wanna go for sniper rifles. Upgrade cost of two. If I save one point, then we can just uh, use that next turn. I mean, uh, next level. I suppose. I care more about being able to lockpick than just having a little bit higher chance to hit. Let's accept that. So we can mark someone. 
But for that, we would actually need to have action points for that, and we don't. Because we only have uh, 7 action points, and uh, 6 is used up uh, by just shooting stuff. So, I don't think so here. Your surgeon and your sniper rifle is your instrument. Precision strikes with your sniper rifle have significantly higher chances of inflicting critical effects. Okay. Uh, no skill perks? I don't think so. No. And these are not that great. Okay, field stripping now has a chance of providing weapon mods. Wait, she just became level 4, but these guys are already level 4. Do we have... Okay, we got trick shot here. And we got puncturing shot here. Okay. So... Sure, unavailable perks? I don't think so. This is fine. I won't use my point. So, Doc will just join me. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost in the plains, he salvaged what it could. Turned it into this monster you see before. Hmm. So, I suppose we explored everything we can. Now, it's time to finally deal with the mission. Mm. Yeah, I won't be doing that. But, yeah, the, the heal on everybody, that, that's nice. Okay, let's go to the Garden of the Gods. So this is going to be our first proper fight. I mean, maybe not fight. Is it possible that we just going to not fight? Probably not. Hello. Whoever just came up from the city, come in. All right, thanks for the welcome. This is Bellamy Ward. I there are Dorsey's all over the garden. I'm pinned down on a high ledge. Can can you reach me? The fuck? I I guess this guy sees us like I don't know. I don't I don't see you yet. We're the rangers, sit tight, we'll take care of the Dorseys. No promises, but we're planning to kill every Dorsey we find? I don't think so. He could be a Dorsey. Stop blubbering, just stay out of the way and let us deal with the Dorseys. We're rangers, sit tight, and we'll take care of the Dorseys. I don't like this because this is all in all implies that we're just gonna kill the Dorseys. I, I guess take care can be not kill. Oh, really? Alright. Chicken! What the fuck is this? This seems weird. Is this really the best approach? Why not just have it in the warehouse? Wouldn't that work? I guess I guess it still needs Oh yeah. What if you had like a big ass warehouse? You heated the warehouse. <laughs> I mean <laughs> yeah, that would work. And you would just have a sunroof. <laughs> Why not do that? It just seems like a super inefficient way to do it, mate. You need like five solar panels, six solar panels to have like 12 cabbages. I don't think so, mate. Ice block? Oh. Mom. 
My uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, that's why I'm on the payroll. Somebody's got to get their hands dirty. So good folk like you can keep your hearts clean. <laughs> that's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. That's how you work. Huh. I'm sure you know best. Okay. Oh. That's nice. Suture kit, uh, a brand, a heavy machine gun that uses a 762. I'm not sure if this is an upgrade, but I guess we can look into it. So we found brand. 762. So this deals like 10 damage per shot. I'm gonna be rounding up. Just for, uh, just to make it a little bit simpler. This is like 14 damage per shot, and they're using the same ammo. Same AP as well. Okay, this is just a straight up upgrade. <laughs> I mean, I, I I like the idea behind this. It's like, oh yeah, look at that. I, I I sure I haven't considered that, but it makes no sense. And for that, too many minus points. Unless someone can really argue for it. Okay, I guess we can come over here. I, I have a preference for snipers because it kind of makes the game... Uh, can we just all reload? I guess no one else needs to reload. Oh, he's dead. Well, that's not the best. I also forgot to save. I guess you can't even save in, in, in a combat. Seventy-five? There's just not enough cover. Yeah, that's probably not gonna work. Oh, okay. If you could go for uh, a stab, oh. uh, that would have been nice. How much damage he has? Hey, John. Rip your rat monster deck? Why why is that? Oh, this guy can't move much. Monsters got wrecked in the update tomorrow. Oh, there's gonna be an update tomorrow? Now, I'm actually kinda interested in that. What? But I don't like the fact that they, you know, just, they just wait with the patches until the tournament is over. If they got a patch to do, then just, just, do, just fucking do it. It's always more interesting that uh, they have the, well, I don't know. I, I personally find it more interesting that the, uh, when the patches are done with... Uh, well, pa patches are kind of recent to the tournament. And everyone is like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? I kind of like that. <laughs> but I, I know, I'm, I might be a little bit weird with that. The leader got, gets removed? 
Replaced by Frost Leader. I don't like replacing stuff. Is it absolutely necessary that they remove the leader? If not, I don't like it. We have good hiding places. I kind of want to have two snipers. If if possible, we're going to have two snipers. Okay. Dolium, what about you? Designs place blah blah blah. That makes no sense because they had awesome like Im do you remember the the spy back in the close beta? The oh, well, yeah, close beta. That was awesome. It's like, hell yeah. And then they removed it. Then they removed the 41 full test. They removed the mill deck. They removed so many decks that I enjoyed. And like, I don't know. Not like they were like, I understand. Like the mill is the only one that I, I kind of like, okay, I, I guess. But then they got rid of free rows and the better is kind of garbage now. Well, I, I do want to focus on this game. <laughs> Right now. Dark nails. Wow. No. Okay. Uh I guess we can only get in one shot. Seventy five. Spies were ridiculous, <laughs> but they were fun. Were they fun? I know, I know they were ridiculous, but they were fun as hell, right? Call me lame if you must, but like, I always like those crazy decks. It's like, oh, I, I just have a crazy deck, right? I, for me, balance is always a secondary consideration. I want something that's just ridiculous. And the spies were ridiculous. They were really good to play with. Deck Neckers? The Neckers were boring. <laughs> Alright, fine. I mean, in some cases it's like, okay, fine, I accept it, but like, it really shouldn't be the, the rule. I guess we can do an ambush. Just defend. Will he run in? No, it goes for a shot. Can we just go and melee him? No. It's out of range. What? Unfortunately, the guy we are supposed to save actually died. Because I, I didn't hurry up. So, I guess it's gonna be one of those games. Uh, do you believe that those decks had to go? Or was there a way to uh, balance them? Or... Do you personally like that development that like mill is gone and I don't know I, I just feel like I, I definitely agree that like okay balance concern but still 
Oh, crap. 27 average damage. Not too bad. Oh, some bombs. You grant this better? It's more fair. Hmm. The balance is definitely better. So I, I'm definitely going to give you that point. But I'm personally nostalgic about those crazy decks. That's why I kind of made the rat raid deck because it was it wasn't like, you know, trying to win with points, even though it like it was a little bit trying to win with points. Frozen Ferret Launcher? The other did not know what was going on, easy win. That was great. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? Create a new character? Step away? What do you mean, create a new character? That's not what I wanted. What about the other cat? A Bella Mel? Meow. We missed? What? what? Okay. Did they beat, bleed the round to easy concede? Not necessarily. And also, usually you want to do in round one. Create a new character. What? Why was this create a new character? We don't have... Your vegetable avatar seems to be in a... Des oh, fuck! Yeah, this is like a computer game. In the desert garden. You decide to stop after a series of events uh, lead to all the cacti being slaughtered in the garden and some guy with a BB gun starting to hunt... hunting you down. Okay. A step away. Computer game, who would play that? So dumb. Was I playing it all wrong? I was uh, using Hunt to win round one, then use uh, Rats round three. No, you were playing it right. If you use everything round one, I mean, you use what you need to use round one, and we still lose. Then there's a really high chance that we uh, we're gonna get bled round two, but some some uh, some guys also didn't bleed round two after winning round one, and uh, those guys lost. I mean, or maybe likely lost. But if they won round one and bled round two, that's probably a GG for them. Ooh, that's... that looks pretty deadly. So, that was the shop. Can we go? Oh, yeah, this is a... Uh... Creepy doors? Creepy doors? 
You found the creepy doll. Creepy dolls are those that are creepy, but they also grant pro powerful party vibe bonuses. Simply collecting them will benefit you for the rest of the game. Creepy dolls aren't found in your inventory. Instead, find them as well as any discovered cassette tapes and tutorials in your archive menu. Access your archive menu by selecting it in the pause menu. Okay, so now we have extra perception for everybody unfortunately the red deck got heavily affected by uh, self damage and of course uh, knowledge of the deck hurt hurt the win chance we rate quite a bit as well but it was still a rather uncommon deck not everyone knew what was up Should I get a go for a hit here? The wolves are definitely gonna close in, right? What? We missed. Okay, we got extra AP. I don't really wanna close in on the wolves. Seems like a bad idea. Get him go on the side and maybe do an ambush too. Okay, everybody is ambushing. Uh, you're just gonna wait. Have you uh, played Wasteland 3? Or what other cool games you play these days? Or what other cool things you do? John. You're terrified! What is that? Oh, we have reduced AP. That's not good. Because... Many of our guys... Need that AP to actually fire. Puncturing shot. Oh, this is not good. Oh, that's... Yeah, our hit chance is not that great in the first place. I'm just getting a shot. Seems like we can't precision strike with melee. Just defend. The best we can do is run back and try to prepare. So we can use... Uh, we can do maybe fire? Oh no. Okay. Just go back. Unless we can do some kind of shotgun hit, but it's probably a good idea that we don't. Maybe do a pistol shot. It takes me six. Oh, we're not gonna do that. Enter, even though we get hit.
No. controller can we somehow kill them the interface of the photon amplification lens looks simple most routines are automated but there are some controls you can adjust install the dynamic cross photon matrix onto the lens install uh, press the button la labeled adjust photon collection amount okay So I guess this is going to burn a bunch of guys. Let's do it. Can we see them? We definitely can't shoot from here. Apparently from here, we might be able to do that. Okay, let's move up Marshawk 1. Can he shoot? Apparently yes. That's 2 AP. After move, we won't be able to shoot. Okay. We can shoot with him. At least Singh also have, has to move up. Just wait. No, go away. I didn't expect my melee character to be able to do something. Hey, Somner, is he? I guess we can uh, take out the ambusher in melee. That's the game. Uh, this is one of the games I've been wait waiting. Hmm. Give me a sec. Can we quick save here? Alright, let's just win this fight. It's a pretty good game. 
I occasionally uh, suffer performance issues with it, which is just damn annoying. Wait. Save. Hmm. I may just restart. All right. I just turned out the uh, the settings even more. I don't know why it was a problem, but I just turned it off. I don't. I don't care. Oh crap! The big boss actually had stuff. You actually play Shadowrun. You do realize that that's not a very, uh... You unlock, yeah. Vehicle upgrade. That's not a game that a lot of people played. I've played uh, Shadowrun, and I really like that. Uh, how does it compare to Shadowrun? The thing is, if have you played Wasteland 2? I mean... <laughs> that That's the most obvious uh, comparison. If you haven't played Wasteland 2, then I would probably suggest that you play Wasteland 2 because it's a good game. What's in that pit? Hmm. No, I did not. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Have you played Fallout Tactics? Have you played Icewind Dale? So it's it's like a it's like a group based RPG, with that's a that's a little bit heavier on, on on combat. So it's not like a standard RPG. You're probably not gonna stand. Uh, we're probably not gonna stay in town for like twenty hours just talking to people. It's a bit more focused on uh, just tactics and, and role playing. I say it's a really good uh, combo because I always enjoy the 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 fighting part, and I also really like role playing. So that's great. The scent of charred meat and burnt hair wafts from the pit, smoking bodies contorted by the agony of or post mortem muscle contraction, uh, like curled atop uh, one another. It is impossible to identify the corpses, but they appear to be both adults and children. Lucia stares at the bodies. Her knuckles are white on the grips of her guns, and her breath comes in little gasps. <gasps> that sounds a little insensitive. Do you see Granny there? Is she burning? No. Can't see a... a thing. Who would do this? Who would murder families and children? Who would burn them so badly that we can't even tell? Well, the guys who we just killed. I'm pretty sure they did it. I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. What do you mean? It was the guys we, killed, we just killed. Alright, let's look at the bodies. Near the edge of the pit, a child-sized corpse appears to be clutching something as if they were protecting it or hiding it. But yeah, let's just let's just take stuff from a burning child. That That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Skylar? Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing. Nah, it's uh Fuck. We need a new label for this. She would want us to have it. She was protecting it with her body. Take it anyway. Alright. Leave the bundle in the pit because I I guess it would piss her off. Nothing else in the pit catches your attention. The bodies and any other items they carried are burned beyond recognition. I would have liked to argue though, because that that's kind of my, my thing. Not just uh So 
<laughs> Let's just accept what she says. Oh. oh! Look at that. So many guys. The clothes on this young man are impeccably tailored, the height of local fashion. He holds his hands up and launches into what is obviously a prepared speech. Ugh. Height of local fashion? It just suits. The, the guy fashion is just so fucking boring. Everything is just suits. It's like, the only, only thing you can do with your suit is just have different color. Or have a, a tie, a rope around your neck. That's just great. Agreed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. Oh. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Fair and Brago's organization, and, and. Okay. Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? <sighs> okay, her family is obviously dead. They're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. I tried to stop them. I really did. I begged. I'm, I'm happy that he said that they were already dead and in the pit that she saw. Although, this kind of leaves a mystery because maybe she's not. Uh, he's not telling the truth. Although, it doesn't seem like the guy who would uh, lie in this situation. Stop talking right now. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. You kids were helping the Dorseys? We... We thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Just tell us how those people would uh, wound up dead. It was Neilius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. How nice. You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. Not looking good. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Maybe this is not the time to ask her on a date. He's, he's not really getting uh, the social cue here. What do you think? Is it is it acceptable to ask out a woman after you were complicit in uh, the death of her entire family? And are now burning in a pit, like, 20 meters away. They, they, I don't know. I don't know how a burnt, burnt humans uh, smell like. But I, I guess maybe not like chicken. Uh, where's Anilius Dorsey now? He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. Why did you do it, Isaac? Why betray your community? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. Were the Dorseys acting alone? Did they have support from anyone else? Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. In the name of the Patriarch? Come on. Can I just say, in the name of God, you are judged guilty and I will now kill you. Even though the Patriarch is not God, just like 
In the name of my president. It's like, still. That's basically what she said. Her voice shakes, but her hand does not. You didn't even see her draw the, her gun. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. He's definitely some like a guy who just made a huge mistake, but this is not really his character. Go for it, kid. He's garbage. Yes or no? Stop, Lucia. There's a better way to handle this. Yeah. It's not only your pain. Let 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 the town decide. A better way? I can't think of one. Not after what he did to my family. You want to let him walk away from what he's done? Let, let others judge him. We're going to put him under arrest. We'll make sure justice is served. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How about that? I have justice right here in the palm of my hand. I am more than happy to meet it out. I would be delighted to be its instrument. Yeah, but he wronged other people too, right? It's selfish to take his life. When it's really owned by so well, owned by so many other people, right? It's just gonna be my argument. Arrest. You're not the law here, Lucia. You're not even deputized. This is our job, and we say he's under arrest. I think it's gonna be better. Are we just gonna kill his his entire group? I don't think so. After a long moment, Lucia lowers his gun and looks away. Tears running down her face. Well, don't take me. You're probably gonna die. Come in, November one. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. We took care of the Dorsies. We arrested several rebels. Send the team to pick him up as soon as possible. Or. Oh, that's fine. Copy that, November one. Dispatching an arrest team now. Good job getting those sons of bitches. Over and out. I guess I don't have to worry about uh, swearing occasionally. Oh, we leveled up. Uh, only the default characters. Well, okay then. Attributes. I don't know. Do we want to go for speed? Evasion is nice. Initiative is nice too. But strength is pretty nice too. <laughs> Do I just wanna go for more strength? Well, I can also go with intelligence. And that would give us one extra action, one extra uh, skill point. There's no one else who can do mechanics. Animal companion damage. This would give us access to taming. Animal companions gain bonus con and damage. I don't know about that. An aggressive bladed attack that deals 100% damage. Extra 100% damage and inflicts bleeding, but has... 20% hit chance. Targets that are burning receive 200% damage. What the fuck? 20% uh, hit chance? That's just not worth it. I don't want to miss my attacks. Two melee weapons equipped? Really? Oh, that's pretty good. So, if I go for melee combat, and, I don't know, like one point into Animal Whisperer, then we can, let's confirm, we can pick up Striking Distance, giving us more speed, and attributes, maybe more strength. So, we have a good combat speed. I 
Okay, confirm. Lee Sing uh, only has a perk undistributed. Professor Higgs didn't level up. Oh man. Uh, yeah, we gotta need awareness. Uh, that's range combat damage. Let's accept that. Now, do we wanna go for big guns? What about the perks? So disarming landmines gives us 33% chance to give us a grenade. Uh, I don't think so. These are pretty marginal. So for double the amount of bullets they suffer crazy combat speed penalty and hitches penalty for two turns and extra well triple damage actually quad damage against demoralized targets and just okay this is this seems fine so if we can do suppressing fire skill wise i don't know so g getting 3% uh, chance to hit with the big guns is not not good enough. Maybe maybe first aid is what we should go with. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's confirm. Coach gun, auto shotgun. Okay. Was this the whole Garden of the Gods? Or... What is this? Downtown Colorado Springs. I'm not sure I want to do that. So apparently I'm... Okay, let's just see where this takes us. Hey, Ryu Party! Just chilling, playing Wasteland Free. Have you played this game? Or... What, what is it about? Oh, uh, you control a, a squad. It's kind of like a role-playing... Uh, and turn-based... Turn-based combat. The Patriarch, after he helped them kill my family, you let him live? What? Have I? Why arrest him when you killed all those others? What made him special? I know what I want to say, but I really hope I get the chance to say it. You know, he saved your life. He didn't have to get you out of the house, but he did. We didn't want you to have his murder on your conscience. He's a confused kid. He doesn't deserve to die because he's stupid. I don't... I'm not gonna say what he deserves. We didn't want you to have his murder on your conscience. Yeah, let's go with that. I'll be the keeper of my own conscience, thank you. I am a grown woman. You have no right to make these decisions for me. I... Forgive me. I appreciate the thought. This is... This is just... Difficult. Exactly. It's difficult already. You're a big girl, but... Let us help. I suppose you're right, though. 
It is better not to have such a thing weighing on my soul. But the people who are truly responsible, Neleus Dorsey and Liberty Buchanan, I will bring justice to their doors. It's always nice to have something to look forward to. Post-apocalyptic uh, team, yeah. So basically the robots killed everybody. And we're in the wasteland. So basically this is like if Skynet was a smaller deal. S a Skynet didn't wipe out humanity. It just just uh, did its best. And now humans are kind of rebuilding. But there are still robots out there kicking major ass. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Little Skynet. <laughs> Alright. Yes, we'll help you in return. You follow orders like a ranger? Oh, that's fine. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, ranger. We should go after Neleus Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. Also in this game, there are a lot of bandits. There are like uh, groups in fighting. <laughs> so the robots, yeah, they, they, they are certainly uh, the biggest threat. But people are do a fair, uh, pretty good job just killing each other. And uh, food and water are kind of not exactly guaranteed. I, I just basically saw a hospital that was just a garage and uh, the patients were lying on the floor. And they were dying. And the doctor is like, I have no supplies. So yeah. And this is the best town. I don't think we're ready to face him yet though. Neleus will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was going to follow orders, not give them. Yeah. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. Also the, well, I, I suppose, gear, attributes, skills, like, this plays a huge part. You gotta have, like, a pretty balanced theme. That's uh, already handle everything in its uh, path. You can make uh, your characters or you can uh, just go with uh, companions that you find along the way. I have two companions so far. And I do plan on using uh, as many companions as possible because they have voice acting. I mean, they have... they are tied into the story. The... Custom companions uh, that I make don't. Junko? Do I know this guy? This woman is scowling and kicking uh, snow as uh, she glares at the boarded up museum. She jumps when you approach. Uh, who? Who are you? Junko Murayama, sculptor, roboticist, amateur historian, and former curator of the Colorado Springs Museum of History. Former? Can you believe it? I really fixed up that museum. Before me, just a bunch of dirty old trash we had to go look at five times a year in school. I brought the place into the 22nd century, scavenged some old robot parts to rebuild the animatronics, remade all the replicas from scratch, cleaned all the blood off the scar collector weapons. Good stuff. Why did the museum close? And she sticks out her lower lip. Officially? because of the Dorsey raid. But I think they didn't like the questions I was asking about the Patriarch's history while I was renovating the exhibits. Oh. I mean, why else would they tell me they'll be hiring a new curator? What's that got to do with the raid? Maybe they find you annoying. Why did you think your questions got the museum shut down? I don't even know. I sent Diligent Joe, the Patriarch's private secretary, a list of questions about the Dorsey family and the routing of the Plains gangs. Just trying to clear up a few weird discrepancies, you know? Well, he doesn't get back to me, and then the raid happens, and I'm out on my ass with no explanation. Interesting. That's weird, right? Could be a coincidence. Sounds like you're a proud of the museum. Heck yeah, I am. 
It was a real sight to behold before they shut it down. Animatronic exhibits portraying our great history, true relics of our struggle to survive, displayed for all to see, authentic handmade replicas of lost treasures. Just some real A-plus quality work, if I do say so myself. Is there a way we can get inside? The marshals have the front boarded up, but there's a side entrance you might be able to open. It's never guarded, but they keep it locked. Well, we just stopped our lockpicking to four. You didn't hear that from me. All right. We got our big space back at our HQ that uh, would be perfect for a museum. Want to join the Rangers and be our curator? That's a good question. Oh yeah, that's actually a pretty good uh, change from Wasteland 2 to Wasteland 3. That in Wasteland 2, you were just part of the base. You just went there. It was basically a town. But now we have a fucking base. So it's kind of like a, a little bit like XCOM feeling. We get we get people for the base. We start building in the base. That's rad. Heck yes. Okay. Thank you. You won't regret this. You're over at the old air base, right? I've read all about that place. What have you heard? I'll see you back at your HQ. Not sure, just ignore me. Hey guys, can I get him? No. So apparently, there is a door over here. I'm gonna maybe try to pick. Seriously? No one guards this door? They have two guards at the bigger door. And it's also boarded up. And this door is not boarded up, but it needs to be lockpicked. Alright. Not a problem. Although it might be a problem. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? I may have to close the window but this place is inactive okay yeah this whole place is a gloss but who wants to hear all the ugly details mechanical eagle is uh, in red white and blue top hat uh, slums in a rustic perch Did the uh, Bu Buchanan, Buchanan make uh, this museum for himself? Saul Buchanan is far too modest for such He's a little quiet. It's annoying. Sure, it was the hundred families who built this place as a gracious thank you to the patriarch for all he's done for them. Well, I don't want to spoil the show, but... It begins with Saul's humble start in this very town. And it follows the tri- And, in case you were worried, it's- Pet the eagle. Oh, come on, Baldy. Just tell us the story. Stop. Step back. It is against museum rules to fondle the displays. That's all we want Great. to know. All right. Oh, it works. Oh, they have heads. Just so small. Oh crap! 
No! Ah, fuck! We don't have enough mechanics to go! And fix up the generator. Can we lockpick the door? No. Requires power. Canned beans? Wow. It's gonna be one hell of a museum. Well, it is one hell of a museum. Can you imagine going to the museum and seeing canned beans on display? How, how spicy. What? The hell is that? It's TV? It looks like a microwave. Wait, traveling busker? Alright, this the busker's song. When the world expired in the fire, for she was made of muscle and grit. Protecting the needy and fighting the greedy. We fought because we gave a shit, and we'll keep on fighting. For there's wrongs to be righted. <laughs> All right, Bosker, gotta go. Oh, trip container. So we gotta go back to the police station. I could really use a level up. Uh, going the wrong way. This is where we can buy clothes. Although, can we buy clothes right now? Um. Oh, he, he can. Look, Martha, it's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. That sounds great. Show me what, show me what you have. Okay. These are pretty lame. So you need four strength. You definitely need a lot of strength, I suppose. At, le at least you need four strength to uh, wear better armor without penalties. Let's say the mannequin. We can ask about their relationship. <laughs> you and your wife get along well. Would you really ask that question from anybody? Like, <laughs> just it just feel, feels like a, such a weird question. What is he gonna say? Like, no, I hate my wife, while his wife is standing next to him? Hardly a crossword between us. That's great. She says nothing, but rolls her eyes behind him. What? Speak up. I would like this to be the moment your relationship implodes. What can you tell me about your shop? Been making clothes and adornments for the hundred families for 30 years. Most of them won't buy from anybody else. That's great. Sell to regular folks too. Plenty of less expensive items in stock, repurposed or restored garments mostly. Thanks again for your help, old chumps. Old chumps? Oh, actually, last time we were here. We, oh fuck! We can't pick the safe. Still. What? Dozens killed by Dorsey thugs. Family's taken hostage. Like the slurping sound. What's going on here? Troy, those old people are looking at us. What old? This is like one of those Reddit polls. It's like, are you up to fourteen year olds, or are you up to eighteen year olds? It's like, or are you up to twenty year olds? If not, are you an old person? What the fuck? It's okay, Brandy. I got this. Oh, you do? Let's bring it on, at uh, Troy. Get lost, you perv douchebags. Before I... Before what? Wait a minute. You're old, right? Can you get us some beers? 
Those stupid Mary milk teeth won't sell us any. Too young, she says. Let's wrap, fellow youths. Drinking and and drugs ain't cool. Stay in school. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. Holy shit! Can you be any more lame? Just ew. So get your own. Lame. Wow. <laughs> we know a paper boy. Brave Marshal, stop Dorsey's. Patriarch alive and say, get your Colorado Patriot here, hot off the press. All right. So we're going to go into the police station. We can also go back home. Oh, not, not, not him. It's uh, Sheriff Daisy. I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. Of course, I'd have liked it better if you sent Isaac Reed and his traitor friends to me, rather than locking them up in Ranger HQ. Sounds, sounds like, uh, if that's what you want, we can give them to you. Seems to me that if somebody commits a crime in Colorado Springs, they should face Colorado Springs justice. And I sure would appreciate it if you keep that in mind for the future. We'll do. We'll we'll keep it in mind, but drugs drugs aren't cool. <laughs> Stay in school, Reaver Putty. Glad to hear that. I think we'll get along fine. Now before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then. You're not my dad. <laughs> Does your dad tell you to, to go to school and stay in school? <laughs> Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. We're just gonna take everybody. Thanks for the referral, and we do need some bum for that position. Welcome aboard, Hope. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So... Back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Isaac Reed confessed that he helped them, but it was Fargo Bryan's gang who let them in. Let's just leave out that detail, because that's just extra information. So, far, far on Brygo. Let's just throw that guy under the bus, because he deserves it. Isaac Reed, we might use, use that guy. Figures. That rat slinked into town about five years back. And the Patriarch, God love him, offered him a place to set up shop. Been nothing but trouble ever since. So him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved. So I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Ooh. Haven't heard back from him, though. And I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. We're on it. Take down Brigo for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe, and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. All right, then. Hope Emerson. So she's gonna join my base. I like. I'm a sucker for base building. That just Thanks gives you a, such a sense sense of progression. I'm grateful to Daisy for the introduction. 
I hope I can be of some use to you. I thought there might be a bit of a job interview first, but if you're ready for me, I'm ready to start. That was a weird conversation. No need for an interview, just head over to H HQ. We'll see you there. Thank you. I'll be there as soon as I make my goodbyes here. Looking forward to working with you. It's hard to believe that these people are just so eager to join me. I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult. And people are like, oh my god, you got an empty warehouse? I can't wait to be your jailer. It's like, hell yeah. So she is, she's gonna be more aware, skill-wise. It's it's confirmed. Yeah, fuck. I'm confirming it. Lock picking. So going for lock picking five would allow us to pick the safe. Okay, let's just go for sniper four. Uh, we're gonna accept that. Can lockpicking... Okay, lockpicking doesn't have any perks. Okay. Well, we can't really use that. We're not going for a uh, perk. <sighs> Attributes for Marshall Kwan. So he has four strength. That's not a, a critical... It's not really critical to go for that. Maybe we're gonna go for more awareness. Because that's just always good. And skill wise. That would be three points. That's not great. I think we're gonna go for Kiss Ass. Uh, Professor Higgs. Small arms. No one else is doing nerd stuff or toast the repair. Weird science. Oh no, weird science is actually not a priority. Should I go with nurse stuff? Allows you to hack computers and turn hostile robots to your side. I think that's more important. Small arms can wait too. Also, we can go for a uh, trick shot. I think the opportunity is pretty good. Your strike meter charges a bonus 5% with each successful handgun attack. Requires three small arms. So, this also increases the strike rate. 5% is not that much though. But it's just a passive bonus. So I guess I can't really complain. He's a level 4 trooper. They look the same. What? That's just weird. Oh. Oh. They have the same fucking face. No wonder I'm confusing them. Not anymore, though. I fixed it. Okay, four armor. Um... He has a scout armor. Oh yeah, having some pants is nice. Okay, let's give her pants. Oh, five strength? Ooh. Who can use that? This requires four strength. This requires five strength. So we can use the, the four strength one. Someone who has no pants at all is gonna jump at the chance to have any pants. Okay. I'm not sure if I wanna hide all their faces. These armors just suck. A Doc Hunter, level 2 sniper. It's still better than the sniper I have right now. Uh, 
Alright, we probably need to do, uh, sell a few guns eventually. Just to see what the hell I'm doing. Also, he uses small guns. Can we just use a Colt? Um, a 1911. Okay, that's gonna be what he's gonna go with. Skill-wise, yeah, he's good with small arms. I think I'm just gonna go for nerd stuff here. So we're gonna be good with computers. And, perk-wise, uh, we're gonna pick up the passive charge with pistols. Intelligence. He's very intelligent. Coordination, luck. Just two strength. That's okay. Not great. We can just try to max his intelligence. Alright, just try to max his intelligence. Okay, we're gonna accept that. And her... In her case, we're just gonna try to max her awareness. For now. Accept. She's also gonna be a uh, one with uh, who uses pistols. Okay. Lead Sing also has weapon modding. Weapon modding is not something we need. The cell value is gonna go up by 100%. Survival. Do I even care? Do we need to sell something right now? Okay, let's just go for extra barter. I might be missing something. We're definitely, yeah, mechanics. Yeah, mechanics needs to be uh, leveled up to four. Uh, next level. We should have it right now, but at very least we should have it next level. Okay. Uh, in the police station. <gasps> well, we can loot the police station. Apparently they don't care. Do you guys have some good guns? Oh, crap. Sure. Steal the rockets. Oh, we got an interrogation cassette. That Dorsey was not having a good time. So apparently we still need to hire a bunch more guys. Uh, we can just wait. Do we need bullets? We obviously need bullets, but like... Do we actually need bullets right now? Okay, we have enough bullets. Same. Oh crap. He's the only one that kind of needs bullets. Yeah, he's, he's... Yeah. Heavy weapon is pretty expensive to use. What?
I think that's one shot, right? It's also one bullet. All right. Can we get into the nightclub? Okay, let's go to Little Vegas. We still need to get a lot, lot more people for the base, but it's fine right now. Uh, <laughs> Autumn Brigo employs a gang of machine gun wielding uh, tugs to maintain order in his club. Is gambling fun? I guess a lot of people like it, but people just go to billion dollar ca casinos that employ thousands of people, or at least like, you know, hundreds of people, and like, oh yeah, this is where I will win. I mean, if you go there just to uh, burn money, I, I guess that's fine, but, and you consider it fun, like, I'm not against it, but those who just go there to win, I don't think so. Okay. Remember, your first order of business is to find Delgado. Maybe somebody in there has seen him. You want 12 euros from a scratch ticket once? The only time I bought one? Holy shit. It's your, it's your destiny to buy more. Understood. While you're at it, if you can prove that Brago made a deal with the Dorseys, feel free to take that bastard down. Best of luck, Rangers. Daisy out. Welcome to Little Vegas. I also have a stretch to get story, but I I'm actually kind of tempted to not tell these stories. For me, scratch tickets brings one event in my mind. I remember like one, one old woman spending stupendous amount of money on, on scratch tickets. And she was getting help from the... Well, some young girl who who sold those tickets, uh, just to even scratch them. It's like, it just Welcome felt wrong. Little Vegas. All right, let's get inside. What's your favorite song? Gotta be what? sex tour. It pops so hard. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, we got shakes here. What is this place? Fuck! Fuck! I'm so screwed. Is that because of your fashion choice? I mean, all, I'm all for showing off legs, but... I mean, that, that's not great. At that point, you might as well just go topless, or you just go with a, a light t-shirt. But this is just not working out. Like... Totally. Yeah, see, senior people are prone to lo lottery addiction, I think. Mm. Poor little Twitch head. Oh, the comes down, bitch, huh? But I guess that's not a discussion anyone wants to have, that, you know, like, there is, like, a minimum age for, uh, for, uh, uh being considered a responsible adult, but there's no maximum age. There's retirement, but... Poor little Twitch hat. The com come down, the bitch, huh? What? Do I know this Shakes guy? What's the problem? You shouldn't do drugs. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'll be the drug police here. I hope I look cool enough for this place. A flashing sign of the slot machine reads uh one dollar to play, match free to win five. Three neon kaibos, uh, cowboys win 350 jackpot. Nerd stuff. Jimmy opened the front panel to reach the inner works. Fuck yeah. We got a winner! Sh Hell yeah! Alright, buddies, you can enjoy your winnings with drink or a lay, but you ain't playing any more games with us. Brygo's orders. What? This is crazy. I'm really good at slot machines. This is actually, yeah, this is great. 
What about roulettes? No can do, pallies. Mr. Brygo says you've taken him for enough. If it were up to me, I'd let you play, but he's the boss. What? Winning is against the rules? So you're saying that if I went into the uh, fucking uh, casino and just uh, jimmied open one of their slot machines to get the money, then I would be considered like I would be considered not fair? Isn't the whole point is to get the money from the slot machine? I just I was just better at it. What is this computer? Scam? They're just jealous because I'm too good at it. But don't even think about messing with that computer mine. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. Why don't you just take away the keyboard? I mean, assuming you don't, you, you, well, I, I guess the computer must be guarded as well. But can you guys just take it anywhere else? Why don't you just take it in the back, back room? Or turn it off, it's not mission critical. What's so special about that computer? You just basically brought attention to it. That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken. And there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. You're just basically, uh... <laughs> just telling me to mess with it. What kind of trouble? Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Well, maybe if a fight broke out I would. But nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place. Uh, you're not gonna well. say I said any of this, are you? Well, he's really bad at his job. I but I guess he's not getting paid top dollar. <laughs> I'm stuck with Moore's light. What Charles knows. This man greets you with a smile, but his eyes dart about, never staying focused on your faces. He has a collection of pins and medals strewn across his chest. Ah, it's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Nose. Farron Brigo's capo, leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Tell us about the Battle of the Two Butts. Ah, a tactical masterstroke by yours truly. Imagine two round buttes with a narrow gorge between them. Got that picture in your mind? We lured our enemies into the gorge, then squeezed them from both sides, crushing them between the buttes. A real shitstorm, that's what it was. I'm quite sure there was never a Battle of Two Buttes. Mr. Nose. Sounds like a story you concocted while sitting in the outhouse. She's on to you, Nose. How, how do you plead? Oh, you wouldn't say that if you've been there. I'll never forget the groans, the plops of the fallen, the terrible smell. What's Saint Elmo? Not surprised you haven't heard of it. Saint Elmo was lost to a fire years ago, sadly. But it was a thriving town before then. Thanks to old Charlie. Yep. Don't listen to a word old Charlie says, Rangers. He's the biggest <laughs> bullshitter in Colorado Springs. <laughs> I respect that, though. <laughs> says the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. That's not a really snappy comeback. You got a lot of titles, huh? All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? We're looking for Delgado. El Gato? What? Come on, Charlie. You remember Delgado. Nice guy, family man. <laughs> too good for the trash in this place. No way you could miss him. <laughs> There's a... A stripper in the back called Private Parts. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh. oh, not like you, Marshall. You blend right in with the rest of us. Sorry. 
Haven't seen him. Old Charlie would tell you if he had. <clears throat> What's your job around here? I'm the floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained. And that they don't wander into the back rooms. Why don't just close it? Can you let us into the back rooms? I can. Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case, no. Jokes aside, Mr. Brigo doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. And we take Mr. Brigo's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him, not me. Sounds good. Where's the guy? What can you tell us about Little Vegas? Ah, Mr. Brigo's pride and joy. Our pride and joy. He founded this club after coming here from Vegas. Apparently, it emulates the style of Sin City. But I never saw that place myself. You want to talk to the man in charge? You'll find Mr. Brigo upstairs. Can I just really just walk up to the boss? Alright. Why do you call us red hats? Why wouldn't I? Isn't that who you are? With your hats so red? Oh well. Can't help you if you're confused. What's with all the badges you're wearing? You see this silver ram medal? You like it? It's my favorite badge. <laughs> the Patriarch himself gave it to me. Yes, sir, for saving his eldest son. Man, you should have seen the size of that snake. I like this guy. He should be a companion. Or I really hope he's going to be a companion. <laughs> Can you tell us about another badge? See this one with the skull? Sheriff Daisy gave it to me for dealing with a corrupt marshal. She was a beast, let me tell you. Must have had some kind of mutation. Eight foot tall with fists like bricks. But I gave her the old razzle dazzle, took her down. Razzle dazzle? Is that what you call falling while running away from her and tripping her with your quivering ass? That worked, didn't it? She fell face first into a fire plug. Knocked her cold. Goodbye. Until next time, red hats. This place is cool. Oh, crap. Okay, we can go to. Uh Go upstairs. Bartender, what you got? Hey there. What do you need? Uh, we're looking for a man named Delgado. Is he here? Sorry, chums. Don't know anybody by that name. Can't help you. Got any juicy gossip? Loose lips don't get you far in Mr. Brigo's organization. So... Nope. What can you tell us about this place? This is the Little Vegas. A slice of paradise in a freezing shithole. Plenty of sins available for the picking. Just take a look around. What's on the tap? All the best vices Colorado has to offer. Oh my god. Drugs. We got not gonna do drugs. Bone sticks, nickel pops, boars. Melee damage. Oh. Okay. There's one uh, quirk in this game that uh, gives you extra damage every time you're drunk. But you have less damage every time you're not drunk. So you just need to be uh, drunk all the time. Stand at attention, tiny soldier. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you think you're going? That's off limits without permission for Mr. Brigo, red hats. Alrighty then. You stowed away on an Arabaho con. Upstairs open. Oh my god. Sure. Tell me everything. Local 168. Uh, yeah. This place is huge. What's doing in here? This is a private party. This man is huge. Scarred. Smells like a distillery outhouse. He sways on his feet. Who are you? None of your fucking business. And I can't can tell that you're bolder. No, they're mercs. Happened to be in town when the Dorsey's attacked, <laughs> so we paid him to help us out. Nice to see him putting the Patriarch's money to good use. Stop staring at a wall. What are you celebrating? Defending Colorado Springs and beating those toothless shit kicker Dorsey's to a bloody paste. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I did that. Local 168, let me hear you! Woo! 
Oh, there was actually a crouch here. Loco 168? That doesn't sound a very inspiring name. Why not just be badass squad or, you know, whatever. They usually have, like, these, even, like, soldiers tend to have, like, a cool name for their squad. Not local 168. We're looking for a man named Delgado. Yeah? Well, you picked the wrong room. Ain't no Delgado here, and no marshals neither. Sorry to bother you. Enjoy your party. No, no. You ain't getting off that easy. The local 168 don't like being spied on. Or talking to pissant little runts like you. The fuck? Well, he's insane. I just walked into a, a room with an open door. Or, I'm not even sure if it has a door. And this guy's like, oh no, I'm willing to die for this. What we do like is fighting. And that's what this party's been missing. Ain't that right, crew? <laughs> they don't agree. They, they cheered before, but they didn't cheer this time, Boulder. So you're alone on this one. So let's go, runts. It's time to dance. You're obviously way tougher than me. We wouldn't be a worthy challenge. Don't waste your time on weaklings like us. Ha! You're right. Get out of here, you patty wastes. You ain't worth the glove leather, Phoebes. Hey, remember how I blew that Dorsey's brains out? <laughs> Still got some. What if I start picking their safe? Are they okay with that? Hey, remember how I blew that Dorsey's brains out? <laughs> Still got some on my shoes. Oh. That's too hard. One, six, eight. One, six, eight. Can I just pick a fight with them now? One, six, <laughs> eight. One, six, eight. I wanna RP it in a sensible manner because would you really risk your life here? Even if Wonder I go home with red hot balls. Oh my god. Like hell, I hope you're getting lucky at the Little Vegas. I don't think so. Candle. Damn. This man's face is a, a crosshatch of scars. He puts on a professional smile as you approach. Hell oh, hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Uh, Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Kendall, Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. We're looking for a man named Delgado. Is he on the menu? Delgado, Delgado. You know, that name sounds really familiar, but remembering is going to be hard work. Uh, the kind of work a man should be paid to do. Kendall, you predictable son of a bitch. How much money would it cost to remember where Delgado is? I need serious cash. Any less, and it isn't worth the risk. Right, let's do it. Shit. I knew I should have asked for more. All right. Don't tell anyone I told you. But Delgado was sniffing around the club. Asking too many questions about the Dorseys. Last I saw, Charlie Knowles was pulling him into the back rooms behind the bar. Is that so? God damn it. Now Daisy's gonna want Brigo dead. And she won't take no for an answer. So what happened? No, no, we know about that. Kendall? That's my name, yes. Excuse me a moment. You really shouldn't ask him about that. He had a misunderstanding with Mr. Brigo, and they cut off his junk. Smooth like a Ken doll. Get it? Makes him a great pimp, though. Let's talk about having some sexy time. Is this is this the, an opportune moment, moment to bring it up? Ken doll, are you on the menu? Rangers, you're not actually going to recreate in this disgusting place oh i was joking of course 
Here at the Little Vegas Brothel, we offer a royal flush of ladies and gentlemen of the evening. Oh, really? There's the lovely Ten of Hearts, the handsome Jack of Hearts, what? the imperious Queen of Hearts, the mighty King of Hearts, the unsurpassed Ace of Hearts, and for those of you who like it weird and wild, there's the one and only Joker. I can't expect the Joker card, Joker of Hearts. Uh, all right. So, pick a card, any card. Tell us about Joker. Oh, you're brave even to ask. Thank you. If you like your loving, dangerous, unpredictable, possibly even life-threatening, then you might, might be ready for the Joker. But. But what? I can't wait to die. I am obliged to warn you that there are no safe words with the Joker, no boundaries, <laughs> and most importantly, no refunds. If you choose the Joker, you take full responsibility for the consequences. Understood? You can't scare us. A lot of people say that. Good luck. What do you mean, good luck? Let's go with Queen of Hearts. Our most demanding escort, who pleases those who please All right, her let, let's... and punishes those. Thanks who for the sales pitch. My pleasure. Just one thing before you go: if you do decide to indulge, you pay the escorts directly, not me. Okay. Sure. Have fun. Are we supposed to go in? I I can't help but not. Well, we have to go in. Hey, who's in here? We got ten of hearts here. Do you want to choose? So she's a blondie. She's just boarding the... Oh, we can't even close the fucking door, can we? Oh no. Alright, I'm leaving the door open. Who's here? Oh, fuck. Jack of hearts? Oh, he's, he's actually a guy. O okay. And who's gonna... Wait, 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 wait. Who's gonna go in there? Are we gonna go in as a group? I mean... Along with the cat? I mean, that that's... That's a bit much, isn't it? You've had the rest. Now, <laughs> try the best. Alright, Jack of Hearts. Oh, look at that. Queen of Hearts. Uh, she's kind of dressed like a, a Nazi. I guess. Or Dominatrix, at least. What is this? Oh, fuck! I'll give you the royal treat. I don't know. Oh, can we... Can we loot his locker? I, I'm not interested. It would be a little awkward to... Oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hail to the king, baby. It would be a little awkward to get into a... A... a, a a gay experience here, just just because I wanted to loot his locker, but we might as well just do it at that point, right? I'm just gonna loot your locker. Oh, fuck. Attention, horse, tutu, sexy, separates. Oh, okay, this seems to be worth something. Can we just <laughs> put it on her? <laughs> she said she doesn't want to be. Oh crap. On your back. Yeah. All right. press. <laughs> nice pants. Four, it's clearly an upgrade. Seven, eight, so wearing nothing nine, is just regular old pants, nine, but this this one is well, it doesn't give you more armor, but doesn't take away anything either. Yeah. It's a pretty good combo. Uh enjoy that, uh, Lucia. Ah. <laughs> Some cross, 13, mirror. 14, Can't do anything 15, with the mirror. Oh, sweetie, everyone has nerves their first time. Let's try again, slowly this time. Oh, she rhymes. I no, I know how to do it. I just I don't feel like it right now. Hey, hey, who the hell are you guys? We're just watching. No, don't worry. This is a regular thing. Sorry to burst in. Didn't mean to interrupt. Having troubles? Pipsqueak. We are rangers. 
We'll take it from here, kid. <laughs> oh my god. Having trouble with Pip's Creek? Yes. I mean, no. I, uh, I just changed my mind. And, and now I'm leaving. <laughs> Keep it up. Practice makes perfect. Bite me. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I was just being tracked and nice. I was just nice. Come on. Come back anytime, Benji. <laughs> School's always in session. Sounds wrong. The one on the bed turns to you. I know you like what you're looking at. And for a small ten dollars, I'll show you things you had no idea. Ten fucking dollars? That's like the the price of a bullet. Holy shit! Price of one bullet. Damn, that's a pretty good deal. Yes. How could we say no? Price of a bullet. All right, all right. you kind of. Right, let's do it. Strip and get ready to take notes. You want to remember the things I show you. We're gonna interrogate her about the uh, uh, whereabouts of Delgado. What? Did the game freeze? Oh, you sweet child! Don't tell me you're tired already. No, I. I'm, I'm no one pump chump. Oh fuck, we got a bonus. Oh, we got a critical chance bonus. Oh shit. <laughs> Lucia Besson, who didn't wanna do. <laughs> Come into the whorehouse in the first place, now wearing some cat pants. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm sorry about this, Lucia. I know this is not what you wanted, but. I mean... Oh crap, William! Oh yeah, he's with us. What the fuck is this? Pull out couch, drug stash, and a goat? I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Oh fuck, what? Alright. Sexy little thing. All right, let, let's let's leave. My first time. So, how do we Benji do Bredock? Do I just? Oh, whoa. Okay. T t take it off. I. Uh, on my knees. Uh, okay. Oh, oh God. This place rocks, right? I don't know. So this is just not, not not just a casino, but also kind of a nightclub. I, I suppose that makes it uh, better. And also uh, the local whorehouse. G-string theory? <laughs> the fuck? Ugh. So well, let's gaudy. discover our coefficient so of friction. Fuck. <laughs> Looking good at him. Damn. I wish I were a DNA helicase, so I could unzip your jeans. <gasps> Fuck. Did we meet in school? Cause I think we had chemistry together. I, no, I just want this. I wish I were a DNA helicase, so I could unzip your jeans. I need someone to do do Let's dirty talk me with chemistry. I don't know what the boss is thinking running a straight joint. Sure He's leaving money on the table. The end of my Models shift. would shut us down if we fixed the games. <laughs> Not with a kid. Baron Brigo. They ain't never said no to Oh my god. Reaction. Looks like a badass. Well, he must have his reasons. What? Are these the guards? So. Quick draw. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. You be the good cop. Cuz I love being bad. I like how she has a gun on uh, her back. It's like connected to her bra or something. I don't know. Ah, Rangers, what a pleasure. I heard you were in town. It must be, what, 20 years since we crossed paths. Uh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Vargas and Angela dead and the rest helped me save Vegas. And 
I hear we have you to thank for Cassidy's fine clothes. He has been back in business. My capos and I thank you. If not for Cassidy's, we'd have to settle for second-rate suits from the bazaar. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brigo. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of the town we lost. Perfect, isn't it? You know, Angelo Death and General Vargas. You haven't heard the story? Hey. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Twenty years ago, Vegas was being overrun by robots. A nightmare. Then Angie and Snake and their squad showed up guns a blazing and saved the day. Heroes, every one of them. Helped me consolidate control of the city, too. Of course, 15 years later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But you know all about that. They attacked you, too. Well, sounds good, Reaver Party. <laughs> anyway, that shared history makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Thanks, you're giving a lot of class. I mean, I mean, this is a pretty good place. I'm glad you think so. Oh. You should have seen it five years ago. Nothing here but the walls, and half of them were falling down. We really worked hard to get where it is today. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. We owe him and his team a lot. Yeah, Mark is still the boss. We'll tell him you said hello. Yeah, Mark is dead. But his sacrifice saved all of Arizona. I guess he's not really... I don't know. I, guess, I suppose we have a smaller squad. Uh, the Rangers are not really a uh, local. Damn. I'd heard rumors. I'm not surprised that's the way he went out. A hero to the end. Thank you for telling me. I'll raise a glass in his honor tonight. Now, what can I do for you? We are helping the marshals with an investigation. Could you answer some questions? Certainly. Ask away. You're a connected guy. Do you know anything about who let Dorsey's into the city? Ooh, this is good. Compliment him. Then let him prove... The compliment. We are already like preload. Pre well, just dropping the compliment, but he can lose the compliment, and people don't want to lose things. So it's like, oh yeah, if he if he doesn't answer, then he's he's not a, he doesn't feel like a connected guy. Then my my compliment is no. What? I don't want those kind of connections. Murder in the streets is bad for business. If I were you, I'd be looking for someone with a grudge against a patriarch. Not exactly a short list, I know, but... We have good information about Delgado is being held in uh, your back rooms. Ooh! Good information, you say? That's better information than I have, though. Nobody told me nothing, but I'm sorry. I can't let you go back there. My property, my rules. And if you try it without my permission, my capos will defend my property by all means necessary. Understand me? That's all for now. Let's talk about something else. There's like a badass picture in the back with like a karate kid's headband. What a shame. Nothing I like more than a good grilling. What else can I do for you? Damn, this guy's not taking a break. What's the painting behind you? Ah, uh, yes. Had that painted for my office back in Vegas. Before the robots came. Not a bad likeness, eh? Why, why is your hair, hair red? That painting was commissioned before the robots came. That's 20 years ago. How is, is it you don't look a day older? Thank you, Rangers. That's very flattering. But really, it's not so much that I have an age, but more that the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado, I feel 20 years younger. Why did you move to Colorado? Like I said, 15 years after the Rangers saved us, 
The robots came back. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, the end was inevitable. As to why we came to Colorado? Well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we packed up our roulette tables and hit the road. What about Little Vegas? Uh, I know any attempt to recapture the past is doomed to failure. But I had to try. It's not quite Vegas, but it's close. And since I can't go back, this will have to do, won't it? And besides, the customers don't know it's a pale imitation. To them, this is paradise. All of Sin City behind one door. Good luck. All right. So, we somehow need to go to the back rooms. Hey, you and Sophie should come over after work tonight. Gina's making steaks. <sighs> I can't tonight. I, I would rather avoid uh, a slaughter. I like to play it non-bloodthirsty, if possible. It just makes more sense, you know? Even if, like, that's how we play it. Like, I don't want to, like, risk my life all the time. Wow. Okay, but how do we proceed? Have I learned something here? Find a way into the back rooms of Little Vegas. I don't know. Kill everyone. <laughs> Just spare private parts. <laughs> we can't kill everyone. What if a private part starts fighting me? What then? Oh my god. Fuck! Fuck! Like totally. What's the problem? I went upstairs to get my shit out of the safe, but Boulder and his mercs took my pants and kicked me out before I could get it. No fucking way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash or I'm dead. Can you help me? Why are you dead without the stash? I owe a lot of money. I don't sell this shit and they'll kill me. Where is it? In a safe? Up, 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 upstairs? In the private room? Here's the just watch out for both. Okay, seems like we have to fight. Well, this is the whorehouse. There's not much we can do about that. Uh, this is uh, Brian Fargo's office and uh, the private party that we have to crash. Remember how I blew that horsey's brains out? <laughs> Still got some. All right, Boulder, shoes. bring it on. <laughs> what? One, six, Jesus Christ. One. Six, eight. One, six, eight. No -hoo -hoo. Okay. Let's take everything. Can we you want go for a fight? You want something? Talk to <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. Boulder, stop calling us pussies. Not nice. You stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? All right. Oh we can give him the drugs, or just keep the drugs. Any luck? What if we don't give him the drugs? Then he loses his shit, and then we use that opportunity to uh, hack the computer. Do you have my five Rhino and five Focus? We need to get paid. What? Well, then, well, that wasn't. You never said anything about m money. You have needs. We have needs. Let's take care of each other. It's always about money, you know that. Fine. Bunch of assholes. This is all I have. Now, get out of my way. 
touch just a little to even me out. I mean, that, that, that's all. All right, so we can gamble. Can I start a fight? <laughs> I hope I look cool enough. Chug, chug, chug. Great. Can we ever start a fight here? Hey there. What do you need? We know that guy is uh, somewhere in the back rooms, and we want to see him now. She puts her hands up. Really? Mr. Nose is floor boss. I just serve the drinks, okay? Don't be strangers. Hello again, red hats. We met a guy named Kendall. What's with the name? Oh, actually, we know you took Delgado into the back rooms. We need to get in there. Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats? But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that. Right? All right. Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. Sounds good for, to me. That makes sense. What's in it for you? Way I see it, everybody wins. You get your culprit, and we don't get in trouble with the law. Once you clear Mr. Brigo's name, I'm sure he'll release Delgado. Oh, that makes sense. Tell us where to find this guy. Look for our man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal, yeah? Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. You met a guy named Kendall? What's with that name? <laughs> you like it? He used to be a real lady killer. Then he made the unwise decision to double-cross Mr. Brigo. So the boys took him into the back room. Had him in there for weeks, poor bastard. You could hear his screams clear across town. He came back with a face that wasn't so pretty anymore. And without Master John Goodfellow. Kendall, get it? What a revolting story. Yeah, that, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah, he didn't like it much either. Especially the ending. Alright, goodbye. Until next time. So we're gonna head out and uh, go to the machine shop. And you know, we can always kill people later. That's that's always that's always my thinking. We can always kill people later. We might as well just explore uh, non permanent options first. Like we can just talk to people, but we can only kill them once. We are? I can happily make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange, I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are unusual circumstances, and Colorado Springs' future hangs in the metaphorical balance. I wouldn't be asking for such an exchange if I wasn't desperate. I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights, and I'll tell the marshals to let you through. Come find me here. 
Broadmoor Heights. We haven't explored the area yet. Where is that? Oh, okay. So that's Broadmoor Heights. So that's the Ranger HQ. This is where we came from. Might as well go... Wait, can we can't fix the generator, can we? No, we, we need... Uh, another level up with William. He's the mechanic. Can also... Taiwan Jones's Emporium. Uh, yourself. You want to hear? No. No. Wish that I did, All right. Franz. Just Don't show me what you got. Does she update her stock? She doesn't have anything new. Striker, an auto shotgun. Shoots three bullets. This uses 45 ammo. I guess getting into fights is not, not necessarily the best because we would use bullets. The scout rifle is pretty good. This I think we can use. Show equipment. Uh, compare. Much higher penetration and much higher damage. Yeah. It seems like a good trade. And uses the same ammo. Same range. Just straight up better. And it costs 350. That's kind of pricey, but I guess that's worth it. Uh, any, anything good here? I guess... Small guns. Striker. This uses 4 AP. Uh, how much is the shotgun bullet? It's five. Okay. But the strikers does seem okay still. It's small guns. Oh. She can actually deal more damage with it. That's pretty good. So, it's like 25 damage. It's like 75 damage. With, uh, all the basic chances are a little, uh, on the low side, but it's not too bad. This is a pretty good gun. Although, it has a lowish range. It's not too bad, that's for sure. I would like to, uh, order them based on... Oh, actually, this is even better. This is 75. This is, like... I just say, like, 22, 5 times, so it's, like, 110. And this actually uses 45 ammo, which is... Okay, that seems better. So we can go with Let's Prayer. Oh, it's Auto Weapon. Oh, okay. So this would be a good with Marshall Kwan. And also has 12 range. And uh, maybe a bit more meager penetration. Wait. Lucius Revolver has a good hit chance. Army Revolver... Uh, this is small arms free. Oh, it uses 38 ammo. Okay. I don't know. This is all, this also uses 38. So this would, yeah, be just straight up more and more efficient. Okay, let's, let's go for that. Also, if I have another melee weapon... That would be probably worth using. Big guns 4. Army. Oh, that would be 50 cal, so that's probably not a good idea. Uh, what do we want? This guy probably should just use two melee weapons. Because that gives him a speed bonus, uh, based on the perk we picked up. Okay, scout rifle. If we go for higher barter, then we will be able to uh, sell our items for more. Maybe I'll join the marshals. Do like okay, so we're gonna go to the garage. Extra, extra, bloody shootout and guarding up the gods.
Yeah. I came here before and basically whoever is in here just sent me away. Apparently I didn't have a business with him. But now I have a business. I'm gonna accuse him of uh, treason. I suppose I shouldn't do that. I'm just investigating. The penalty for breaking the law in Colorado Springs often means time in the pillories in Colorado's freezing weather. This is effectively a death sentence. How would you get over that? Can you just get really fat and just do crimes all the time? What if you got really, 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 really fat? Uh, can you just be a criminal then? Oh crap, are we gonna get shot? This time the marshal sent substitutes to shake us down. Well, you stand-ins get one warning. Fuck off or get fucked up. <laughs> That's a good slogan. Can I use it? We just want to talk. Yeah? Well, McTavish doesn't want to talk to you. And you just used up your one warning. Fuck them up, boys. Wow. That's not nice. Oh no! She's the sniper! Oh my god. Okay, I I'm just gonna reload. For one reason alone, is that I should really have the melee guy running first. I don't wanna start the fight with my sniper dying. I don't really wanna cheese necessarily. And attack them first. That's, well, I, that, I suppose that would make the fight easier. But I, I just want to have the same setup. Just make sure that my guy, my melee guy, is first. So he gets attacked. Because uh, this was just clearly uh, an error on my part. I kind of didn't expect the fight. Alright. Oh, look! This time the marshal sent substitute. Yeah? They're still gonna fuck us up, apparently. And you just used up your one warning. Fuck him up, boy. Oh my god, this is like a power armor. High armor enemies. These machine shop jerks have high armor and uh, weapons with low penetration have a hard time punching through. Try using sniper rifles, heavy machine guns or blunt weapons. Energy, cold fire and explosive damage will also bypass armor altogether. Okay, that's that's good to know. <laughs> No! Yes! Oh, wait. wait. He has no AP. Oh, he got stunned. That's not nice. How much armor he has? Oh, he would... Oh, armor break. Okay. Penetration of six. So that would work. We have two shots. But we can also go for uh, armor penetrating bullets. Lead sync. Can do a precision strike. On who though? Okay, this seems pretty good. Can we just shoot the foreman in the head? The foreman has the highest armor. Pretty good shot. Okay, uh, well, hard to say. Lucia. Okay, she can only go for regular hits. 
Oh. Risky shot. Yeah, that would be just a wasted shot. No, not, not do that. Apparently we can... Oh no, we can't. Also, we have range here. She has 7 AP. How much AP is that? That would be... Ah, oh, that would be 2 AP to move up. Marshall Kwan. The heavy machine turret is a little annoying. But I guess I can't do much about it. Can we? He definitely needs to go for an attack. Oh, we are using flamethrower? Let's use uh, the machine gun instead. Okay, apparently we are our best chance to hit is either on the turret or this guy. Okay, center mass looks okay. He only has six ac action points, so... Mangy Mutt. The foreman should die. Okay, let's make him move up. Can we just move over there? Then we can shoot this guy in the back. I don't know about him. I guess hiding would be nice. Okay, let's defend. Okay, just move away. Okay, we're getting hit quite, quite a bit. Friendly turn now. So we can try to just melee this dog. Can we? Oh, we can. One HP? No. Hmm. I guess we should just hit the turret. We can center mass again. Hide there. It's not much, not much hiding though. Okay, we are not in range. Sixty-one. She has seven AP. Oh, that's two AP. Ah. I 
Take a lower stance to gain improved hit chance, evasion, detection time, and we'll, you will automatically stand up if you begin moving. Oh. I guess, but you, you can't really crouch next to a box. You should just move up to a box. It's also cost 2 AP. If you can just take down the turret, that would be the best. Alright, let's just try to shoot at the turret. Okay, and William can't really do much. He's gonna defend. The problem is if I move up to the turret, we're just gonna get shot. It's out of range. So we have to do something like this. Then move over there, I guess. Wait, she has an extra shot. I'm not gonna shoot at the barrel. Yeah, but sacrificing hit chance is really bad. I don't think we need precision strike. Puncturing shots, okay, that's an extra AP. Fires an assault rifle attack that punctures through multiple enemies, hitting uh, anyone in its path. Deals more damage to stunned enemies. Or center mass, I'm not sure. Take them down clean, a reliable attack that has uh, extra hit chance, but has a uh, minus 100% critical chance and uh, less damage, okay. Still seems like a good choice. Okay, can we just do a precision strike on this guy? On the head? Sniper shot! Oh no! I, I think I fucked up. Definitely fucked up. Just uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'm what works. No! Go away, dog! We didn't even get XP for this, or... Uh, there's no menu that shows that where we get XP. I guess we're gonna get items. Scrap. That's just junk. It would be nice if uh, it was colored. It had a, like a slight background based on its uh, based on its category, like I don't know, junk can be like slight have a slightly teal background. It's forty-five. Dog hair, fine. Did we loot everyone? Oh, that increases the. Uh, mechanic skill. That's actually really bad news. Because my front guy uh, has the mechanics, but he's also going to be using the highest armor helmet for fights. And this means that I would be, I would need to switch all the time. So currently we are using a uh, helmet that gives us free armor. But in order to take advantage of the mechanic skill, I would need to use this helmet, which would boost up my mechanics to three instead of two. But actually, I can just make uh, new custom characters, but it feels a little wrong just to replace them so easily. What? What about the generator? 
Is this like Baldur's Gate and Fallout had a baby? Well, yes. No, this is uh, this is basically uh, Fallout, but it's called Wasteland. It's basically Fallout with a team, and maybe like slightly less RP. Well, it's kind of like the new Fallout's, I suppose. No, actually, I think this uh, this one actually has more RP in it, more role playing. And this is basically Fallout with the yeah yeah. I think Baldur's Gate and Fallout had a baby. I think that's uh, pretty much correct. It's basically a team-based Fallout. Uh, press the button. Come on, McTavish. Don't make us break th down this door. Sounds like you haven't played Wasteland 2. I would recommend playing that too. If, if you're interested, uh, that's a great game as well. Where can you? The Sunlanders were came all the way from Arizona to suck the fat of that cock. Yeah. I'm actually kind of. I, I think I'm having more fun with Wasteland 3. Uh, in Wasteland 2, you're just only a part of a base, but in Wasteland 3, you have a base that you're building. It kind of has like a bit of an XCOM vibe to it, so that adds an extra level of progression. And uh, yeah, I think there's going to be more interesting companions in this game. It seems like Wasteland 3 is just gonna be a, a slightly better Wasteland 2, even though Wasteland 2 was great. It was really great. But Wasteland 2 was at times just very fight-heavy. But uh, so far, that's not the case for Wasteland 3. Or at least uh, the, the game starts out. Well, I wouldn't really say it starts out, but like, you know, it's pretty consistently, uh, not ignoring the RP part of it. But what happened to the rest of you? Couldn't attack the cold? Couldn't you drive on ice? <laughs> Couldn't I <you> swim? <laughs> you seem to know a lot about what happened to us. Did you help set us up? Ooh. What? No. I don't know. He heard it. I just, uh, I just heard a bit of it. Oh, okay. What an accent. Read about it from who? We have information that you were being you've been working for the Dorseys. Ooh, information is that what I did uh, Or maybe it's just some shit you heard. Like my bob bag, your flat line hacks. I'm under farm Brago's protection, so you can't touch me, pal. Wish he spoke English. Really? So if he shoot you now, uh Brago is going to jump out of nowhere and stop our bullets? You want to see that? That that's a bit threatening, and we are under the patriarch's protection. Uh, Brigo wouldn't dare touch us, no matter what we do to you. You, the patriarch, but ah, what all the shit? This ain't fair. Everybody shuts on me. Everybody. Okay, okay. Looks like you got me at a disadvantage. So let's make a deal, eh? You push flaps, drop me enough to skip to, and I'll tell you what I can. Five hundred dollars? That's a lot of money. You don't need all that to get out of town. Walking is free. How about some money instead? <laughs> no deal. Start talking or we do you like we did your boys. Yeah, what the hell? I have to pay him? I had to talk to us or we take you to the marshals. Your choice. Fine, I'll spill your muggy desert trash. What? Am I supposed to be paying the guy who just... Who unleashed his fucking tugs on us? Okay, yeah. I let the doses in the city. And I'm glad I did. At least I could do after the patriarch put me in the power is. Asshole throws my bloody face off. I got a clear where my nose should be. Of course I wanted some revenge. Wouldn't you? Well... 
I mean, why even say this? You're just gonna get killed. Bet you get colds more often than you used to. Ah, oh, the game. How did you know that? Uh, the hairs of of your nose help uh, stop germs getting into your system. You've got no nose and no hairs, so nothing stops them anymore. Bloody hell! That's another thing the patriarch owes me for my health. Ah, oh, damn! What did you do to deserve permanent disfigurement? I know, right? Like, seriously. No, we're asking you what literally did you do to deserve losing your nose and ears? Oh, well, I was buying some wholesale medicine for God's ear when all of a sudden the marshal jumped out of nowhere and grabbed me. Say I'm buying me intent to sell or some shit. So you're like a drug dealer? I try to tell him. I'm no selling it. I'm getting a wow with every purchase of an oil change at my shop, but the bar bags can't see the difference. So they drag me off to the pillories. I mean, I busted for charity, I ask you. 99% sure those guys took me by and sold it themselves too. <laughs> Fucking marshals, they should stay on the inside of the law. <laughs> are we saying the marshals are corrupt? <laughs> are you kidding me? This is a bear shot in the woods. Of course the marshals are corrupt. They work for the patriarch, don't they? And he's the most corrupt tally washer of them are. I could use a different perspective on the patriarch. He's obviously not that great, as uh, others uh, say that he is. You think he's the great feather who takes care of the people of Colorado? Utter shite! He takes care of the people who take care of him. That's it. Now the rest of us beings are just here to keep the machines running. That's why I ended up working for Brago. Now, he's a crook too, but he doesn't pretend he's no. No like some people I could name. What the hell kind of accent is that? Ha! Ah, that's, that's Scottish! I'm Scottish! See! Scottish plate, Scottish uh, logo, everything Scottish! The McTavishes were the kings of Scotland once you can. Yes, but this is like hundreds of years into the future, after the apocalypse, and you actually grew up in this town, so, you know? What if I was Scottish and, like, you know, I moved away from Scotland and lived in the US for... Okay, I didn't live in, like, my, my family just, you know, I, I died and, like, my family just grew up in the in the US and just, like, lived there for, like, 200 years. Like, you know, this kind of happened, you know? People moved away from the UK to America and they, you know, their families are there, like... And, like, do they have a Scottish accent? I don't think so. That's Scottish. It sounds more like you're eating a sock. I didn't write it Scottish. I learned it from a video of Braveheart. <laughs> it was right there when they made Scotland. It's going to be right. I see. You learn it from a video? Because I found the tape in a burnt out car, so it could be a wee bit warped. So, to get revenge on the Patriarch, you let the Orsius pillage the town and murder dozens of innocent civilians? Uh I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill Buchanan. Did Brygo have anything to do with the Dorsey attack? What? No, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Brygo had nothing to do with us. Nothing. This is bullshit. Sounds like he's just a fall guy. We heard enough. What are you going to do with me? I'm not that... What? What do you mean nothing? You can go, but we're gonna have a little reward first, understand? Now, we gotta have someone to blame, right? Either two or three. You can go, but we're gonna have one to, uh, <laughs> we're gonna want the little reward first, understand? I wanna say two. Have him give me the reward. That's what I would do. I would... Pretend to let him go for a reward, and I would want the biggest reward possible, then arrest him. <laughs> it certainly wouldn't help his view on corrupt cops, but <laughs> I'm gonna live with that. I suppose I should be on the side of the law. Fuck. Should I, should I arrest him? I wanna let him go. For, for reward. I think in this game, you don't really have the choice. If I say you can you can go, this is not, not like, you know, like Skyrim, you know, you just like, oh, give me the reward, then you kill the person. 
and you know you can just loot their body or you just say that you let them go uh i, I think we're gonna arrest you that seems like the right choice Copy November 1. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. We arrested McTavish. Dispatch a Ranger team to bring him in. We detain McTavish. Notify the marshals to pick him up at the machine shop. Copy that, Team November. I'll let the sheriff know she needs to make an arrest. Can we, can we loot his uh, shop? I like how they uh, actually cared about that. Like, why does he have a Scottish accent? Obviously, he shouldn't. But your accent certainly doesn't make you special. <laughs> but whatever. Fun! <laughs> so we busted this guy. It was weird. He was way too eager to... Uh, confess to the crime that will most certainly get him killed. Go ahead. Yeah, I got Ms. Wong, the manager at the Sands Lux Apartments on the line. And this one might actually be something. Says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs in... Shush, 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 let me talk to them. You're leaving out important details. Uh... It's the weirdo in apartment three. He's gonna kill us all. There's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room. And he's not alone. He's got friends in there. They're planning something. I know it. Can we try calling the marshals? Uh, downtown is their territory. Do you think I would have called you if the marshals had listened to me? They say I call too much. <laughs> Goddamn lazy good for nothings. Maybe there was nothing going on those other times, but this one's real. I'm sure of it. Come to the Sands Lux apartments now. That loony's liable to blow the whole place sky high. Uh, sorry, November. Over and out. Huh? What do you mean by sorry? It's still worth checking out. What do you think they do with the bodies from the pillars? I mean, it might not be... It's probably not a bomb threat. But, it could be uh, something interesting. Yeah, let's see what we have. Unwelcome guests. Talk to Guinea and Rice. In uh, Broadmoor Heights. Full house. This is uh, a primary mission, but we can't really... Progress it. So we can negotiate with uh, Farron Brigo. In downtown Colorado Springs. The completed missions don't matter. Where is downtown Colorado Springs though? So that's Broadmoor Heights. I say we should... Yeah, Little Vegas. I say we should go to uh, Little Vegas. Uh, just try to uh, end that. Rangers hailed as heroes. Dorsey's flee the city. Oh, Roy. Uh, mission. Maybe I'll join the marshals. I do like to drop the people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crack by. I'm sure they can use my help. They even got my own blackjack. Wait, do we have enough?
Do we need mechanics? Three or four here. I'm not sure. We need mechanics free here. Who has weird science? Professor Higgs. Oh, okay. So this also enables us to use uh, different kind of weapons. Like, we'll be able to use this very weird uh, mind controller weapon. Base hit chance of 80%. Can, can this even go up? It's a laser weapon, but it's not a rifle. Weird science only ups the damage. Of, uh, yeah. This seems like a really good gun. Brainwave destabilizer. Only has range of 9, but... This basically just takes control over someone and uh, confuse friends with foes, may cause tumors. But does, does this flip them to our side? Or does this make them rally? I mean, uh, just go, go mental, just go attack indiscriminately. That's kind of what I'm saying. I suppose rally is not the word. 8 to 10... So this is just straight up better. Oh, it, it comes with center mass. But we already have a better rifle than that. So this AK-47 is not the greatest. Oh, they all have range of 15. That's not too uh, uh, surprising. Considering, like, when it comes to uh, the guns, like, the guns matter, but the bullets matter way more. Guns that use the same bullet will be fairly similar in effectiveness. So we're gonna talk to uh, Foreign Brigo, then we're gonna go to uh... I don't know the place, it's his name. <laughs> I can't open it right now. Maybe we're gonna check out the crazy guy in apartment 3. How about that? Follow the call of the disco ball. What a place. Disco. Uh, gambling. Oh, oh, oh. Red hats. What's the rush, huh? Why don't you tell your old pal Charlie what you found out from McTavish? Sounds like this McTavish guy is a fall guy. You were right. He let Dorsey's into the city and he said he acted alone. Yeah, that's just way too clean. Wow. Well done, Red Hats. Thing is, maybe I made it sound like I could get you into the back, but I can't without Mr. Brigo say so. Go talk to him. Tell him what you found out, and I'm sure he'll be open to a deal. Uh, don't mention me, though. 
Thanks. So, uh, what did you do to that poor bastard, McTavish? Oh, he's he's arrested. We gave him to the marshals. Ooh, that's a fate worse than death for McTavish. Rough break. All right, I'll head to the machine shop and clear up any mess you left. Nothing but a favor between friends. You should go on upstairs and talk to Mr. Brigo. I'll do that. See you later, Red Hats. He's gonna go and clean up some. Oh, maybe he's gonna plant some evidence. Fuck. They're just gonna make sure that he's gonna be guilty for sure. Oh my god! Tell me everything. All right, for Umbrigo. Oh, we closed in now. I get the feeling this isn't a social call. Love the hair. I understand you had a little talk with McTavish. And I want you to know I'm as appalled as you are that he let the Dorseys into the city. He served me well. But, well, he's always been an idiot. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? How do you know what McTavish told us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. Got you now, for Umbrigo. In my profession, you can't be too trusting with new friends. I uh, had you followed. It won't happen again. Really? You had us followed, and you were privy to the private conversation we were having with McTavish in the back of his garage. Interesting. We found a note from you to McTavish ordering him not to help the Dorseys. That means you knew his plan. Wonder what Daisy would do with that info. Ooh. Is that a threat? Are you suggesting some kind of deal? Oh. I'm not I'm admitting... Not admitting I'd okay. anything about Delgado. But what did you have in mind? Oh, I'm always ready to make a deal. Hand over the Algada and we'll tell Daisy it was all, all a misunderstanding. We'll also tell her McTavish acted on his own. Oh, this is not good. Mm, I like it. <laughs> Keeps Daisy out of my business and takes care of a problem I didn't want in the first place. All right, you got a deal. You can take Delgado. I'll tell my crew to let you in the back. And I tell you what, because you've been so reasonable, I'll do you one more favor. A little bird told me you need to staff the armory at your HQ. Well, I just so happen to know a few guys who know about guns. Consider it staffed. What do you say? That sounds good. <laughs> One last question. Why did you grab Dalgada in the first place? It, it would have made more sense to Stonewall and send him on his way. Yeah, that's a good question. You're right. But I'm not the one who grabbed him. Charlie did. You idiot. After that, what was I going to do? Tell him no hard feelings and let him walk? Daisy would have been busting down my doors within the hour. So, I just kept him on ice, hoping a solution would come along, and voila, he did. At least I hope it did. Depends on if you're going to accept my offer or not. So? I will. Okay. Give us Delgado and send your crew to HQ and we have a deal. That sounds good. I think our armor is staffed with uh, courier criminals isn't going to help our reputation. We'll find someone else. No, 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 that's great. We can always just, you know, send away the guys. But once we already have the guns, that's that's great. Fantastic. Delgado's in the back. My crew will let you through. Go get him. And you'll have a fully staffed armory by the time you get back to your headquarters. Pleasure doing business with you, Rangers. Feels like old times. <laughs> I just gotta work with what I got, you know? I had an empty warehouse, and now I have a fully surprise to see you here, Rangers. stuck armory. What a surprise. A doctor. And let's just uh, get back to the, uh, uh, the present matter at hand. It's especially surprising because I figured you'd be coming out of Brigo's suite with him in chains. 
or a bullet hole in his head. But no, what's a damsel like me to think? We've looked the other way long enough. First, Frigo helps out the Dorseys. Then, he locks up a marshal. Your law keeper's right. Like us, it's time to uphold the law. If you're not willing to do that much... This, uh, this Brigo guy is obviously shady, but he's not stupid. There's no benefit to having the Dorseys just rampage in town. And ultimately, I just, I just trust him in this uh, matter that, you know, it was not his fault. And, you know, he does some shady shit, but, like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not guilty of this, and I don't know about his other shady shit. Do I feel uh, justified to kill him? Most likely, I would just die. Marsha Lupinski, I stand by these people. So if you plan to shoot them, you'll have to shoot me, too. I think you know how that'll go over with the families. Doesn't need to come to that, Miss Wesson. If your friends here make the right choice. So, how about it, Rangers? You wouldn't want to get the little lady hurt, would you? What the fuck is wrong with you, Marshal Lupinski? This guy did diddly dick. All he did was show up. I did the whole investigation myself. No one helped. There were like 20 cops in the precinct in a town of like 100 people. And there were 20 cops there. They were doing nothing. And now he's like, oh, oh I'm going to uh, arrest the investigator. Unbelievable. We already found the traitor. It was McTavish, not Brigo. You look the other way for ages and you expect nothing to happen. <laughs> Wait, you just admitted to being a fucking useless cop. Or most likely a corrupt one. <laughs> it's like, you're looking the other way? That doesn't, I mean, that sounds like something people would say. But it doesn't, when you think about it, it's, it's not exactly a, a, a... It's like, you know, would you say like, oh, I'm a cop who looks the other way all the time. It's like... Damn. Are you incompetent or are you corrupt? Does it even matter? Alright, if Marshalls want Brigo gone, uh, we're with you. No, we already found the traitor. It's, it's, it was McTavish, not Brigo. Maybe. Or maybe Brigo sweet-talked his way out of trouble. We've all seen that happen before. Last chance. Please. What do you mean, maybe? This guy's fucking stupid. It doesn't have to go down like this, fellas. Shut the fuck up, Quan. It's going down like this, whether or not you like it. I mean, this guy's a bigger threat than the criminals. The criminals didn't try to kill me. I mean, I, I say that they're criminals, but like, it doesn't really matter. They, they're just trying to run a, a bar. I mean, not really a bar, like a casino, kind of. One way or another, there's gonna be blood. So whose side are you on? You really want to piss off the sheriff? For the sake of that rat, Brigo? Well, first of all, I'm not standing in your way if you want to, you know, go for justice against Brigo. If you think that's what you should do, you should do that. I'm not going to stand in your way, but, you know, you're just attacking me here. Which is stupid. No, we're not going to do it your way. What do you mean? You have to... This, this is... This is... Okay, this makes no sense. Because there should be three options. I defend Brigo, which it just it just it just makes no sense, right? You know? I mean Second, fine, we'll do it your way. I, I can accept that. I mean that, that should be an option. The third is that we don't give a shit, you know? You go attack Brigo if you want, we're just gonna go on our way. But not like, no, you gotta go through us if you wanna get Brigo. But you know, I, I'm what? These are dumb choices. One is saying, fine, we're gonna get Brigo, which I wouldn't do on my own, so I definitely not gonna do with you. The second is, I'm gonna defend Brigo with my own life. Again, wrong. That should be a third choice here. But if you force my hand, then uh, I have to take you down.
Corrupt Marshall. Damn. Can we just stand next to the the door? Oh my god, I can't move. There are way, ma way too many guys. Okay. Can we shoot? Who, who are you? Okay. Marshall Kwan. And who are you? This is Lucia. So, Lucia should shoot, then go back. Darkness should shoot. And what do you have here? So Marshall Kwan will take a shot. Maybe that shot. No dance emotes unlocked on this channel. <laughs> Sorry about that. It wasn't requested before. Go back. It's a pretty meaty hit. Oh no. Can we take a shot at anybody? Okay. We can take a shot at the marshal. Dark Nails took a shot. Ah, uh, William. I'm not sure what to do with William. Can we can we shoot from here? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Can Lee Sing shoot at anybody? Okay, we can't shoot at Marshal Lupinski. Okay, let's just try to go back at least. Okay, he can wait. Now, we have a pistol here, so this is not gonna be super useful. Can we get to the place where we can land the shot? Okay, maybe we go over here and do an ambush. No, maybe we should hide. Probably hide, right? We can do an ambush here. Maybe do a crouch down and do ambush. Okay, that's it. Oh no. Oh my god! Maybe private parts will get killed by a cop. Oh mo- She's getting killed. The stakes are high. What? Time to drink a beer? What the fuck? I'm moving here. Even the disco ball is fighting. You must survive at all costs. I'll, I'll try. Go for two shots from 
if you don't move. Wait, you can take a shot from here? How would that work? We can also just go in with a melee strike. No one we can reach. Maybe we should do a, a big run in. Let's go over there. We can do a precision strike, maybe. Oh, this is. Yeah. Okay. This will kill for sure. Doesn't matter what we hit. Mm, I suppose you might as well just move in. Who can we snipe? Let's help out private parts. Maybe she's gonna join us. Who's one of, gonna be one of our companions? Well, what? The guy who's on fire is not dead. Wow. Shooting at the disco bot? That's maybe not a priority in a fight. These guys are really suck at fighting. Wow. Holy crap! The guy who uh, started the fight by drinking a beer is doing a great job. Oh no. What? Private parts is a machine gun? Pretty good. Can it be my turn, please? Okay, William is in trouble. Can we save? We cannot save in combat. Marshal Lupinski. Okay. Saved. Lead sync. Oh, we have a precision strike. It's Bill I am. Okay. Bill I am, come on, you got this. Too far away. It's eighty five. Ah, uh, there's not much he can do. my chance to hit? Do I have a chance to hit? Let's 
Uh, can you save scum combat? Asking for a friend. No. You cannot quick save in combat. I tried. You can save before combat. And reload the entire combat. What's the range? Well, we should just play it safe, right? Next round he's dead for sure. This guy's wounded. No more Gwent. Play the red shirt. Rent is, rent is not out of the question, but I want to play Wasteland 3 here. Apparently there's going to be a patch soon uh, in Gwent, so maybe that's a good reason to get back into it. Taken down by the cat. Excellent. So I got a bunch of level ups here. I'm also a little wounded. Can I just loot? Give me that. A bell rifle. Is that better than the one uh, Quan uses? Um, does it use the same ammo? It uses 556. Alright, we're just gonna have it as a backup. So she is still leveling up. He can uh, get more strength. Skill wise, confirm. I don't know if you want to go for melee combat. I definitely want to go for more mechanics. Upgrade cost of two. Is it is it two though? It shouldn't be two. You have this dumb helmet. Take off this helmet. Upgrade cost of 1. So I want to go for mechanics of 4. Or maybe we're going to do mechanics of 3. And animal whisperer of 4. And then we're going to... Yeah, confirm. Then we're going to use the helmet. To bring up our mechanic to 4. And uh, that's good. Also we got dock nails here. You can get better with uh, explosives and first aid. First aid seems to be, yeah. I mean, it's it's used sometimes in conversation, but it's mostly used uh, just just to heal people, which is fine, you know. Considering that you know it can be used in battle and 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 for uh, conversation, uh, it's fair enough. Do I just want to go for uh, big guns? I think having a uh, level four explosives is uh, pretty much justified here. I don't know if I want to ignore the big guns, but it seems like I'm, I'm fine with fighting. Let's go for uh, first day five, I think. Let's do that. Attribute wise, I think he's gonna go for a more awareness. That, uh, yeah, just makes him a lot better at hitting those critical shots and dealing more damage with it. And that's it. She doesn't have any perks. <sighs> yeah. Wow. These guys are not keeping a beat. Holy fuck. The strippers are back in business. Just... The cops... Look at that. They're dancing over the dead cops. They're still bleeding out. I guess they're all dead. They're like... You know, they're not dying. But damn. God damn it. Look at this. Someone spilled all the ketchup on this table. Look at this, this guy's decapitated! What the fuck, guys? Oh, Alright. The disco buddies just almost blew up! Alright, whatever. Holy shit. Hey, bartender. What's up? That shootout with the marshals was nuts. You know the crazy part? All that shooting? 
and it didn't break a single bottle. That's great. How about the dead bodies? What's on the tap? All the best vices Colorado has to offer. That's great. All right. Private parts. Are you fine? I'm gonna cock that gun and clean your barrel. Can't wait. All right. So let's go into the back room. The very can actually save Delgado. Maybe... I, I kind of... Yeah. It's getting a little late. Uh, currently the plan is to play this game. Or maybe maybe not this game, necessarily. You guys can just uh, uh, say what you want. But I, I think I, that that's currently the plan. It's just to play. Like, three to four hours, kind of. Three-ish uh, three hours. Like, every day. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Stream. It's gonna be like... Uh, 16 to 20, something like that. Uh, in the afternoon, kind of kind of like uh, early evening, something like that. Anyway, uh, that's it for now.